I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. I'm just going to see what y'all need to know at this time. We're going to see what comes out. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit? Ace of Cups, new love or renewed love coming in for you. Four of Wands. Okay, we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. This is like a harmonious time coming up for you. It's either new love coming in or renewal of love, love for yourself. Like, it's a happy time with the Ace of Cups. We got the King of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is going to be a very abundant time coming up for you. And it's like um, with these two birds here, it's like birds of a feather. And then we got these two either alligators or crocodiles or whatever. Um, somebody, it's giving like a two of cups energy here. Now, this could be like soul tribe energy. This could be like you leading a company. It's boss energy here. We got the king of wands at the bottom of the day, too, with the nine of pentacles. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, three of wands. You could be seeing something clearly now. Looking ahead. Okay, we got the fool here. Somebody's wanting to take this leap of faith or start out new. Okay. Aquarius energy here, Sagittarius, 10 of inspiration. All right, so something could be feeling burdensome at this time. Angel number 10, 10. It could be something that, like, somebody's wanting to, yeah. Somebody could be having a hard time breaking free of some kind of situation here, it looks like, either pertaining to work, family, um, some kind of relationship, or something like that. Okay, what do they need to know? We got the Knight of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. So this definitely could be like a romantic connection here for some of y'all. Not everybody. What do they need to know? The Hang Muse. Pisces, Energy. Alright, so somebody feels held back. Like the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Somebody feels kind of stagnant in this situation. We got the Three of Pentacles here. At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands again. Somebody seems to be uh, torn, okay? Somebody could be torn over a situation. Two of Wands, like, which direction to go in here with this Two of Wands? The Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Justice, Libra Energy. Somebody seems to be a feeling overlooked, overlooking somebody. You can feel overlooked in a connection here. We got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be walking away from a situation here or kind of separating yourself from a situation where you felt... You felt like things were stagnant. Things weren't moving here in the direction that you had hoped they would. Okay, so you seem like you're changing directions here. You're focusing on a new goal here. Okay, well, that's good. All right, so let me get something on the King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Really focusing on your goals here, what you're working on with this Eight of Pentacles. This could be something to do with somebody at work for some of y'all. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. You could be going into business with somebody here. There's a lot of money here involved. Okay, Four of Wands with the Star, King of Swords. Yeah, it's like there could be a situation here where some kind of uh, property or something is being dispersed. There could be an ending of some kind of... um cycle here with somebody uh or somebody's moving and selling a home possibly or some kind of business what's the ten of pentacles what do they need to know so this could be the energy of you or somebody you're dealing with two of coins here somebody's been trying to juggle something the emperor here queen of cups nine of cups somebody's trying to juggle their like work life home life okay somebody is working towards their wish fulfillment this could be somebody who is worn out tired okay what's the 10 of inspiration yeah but they have this goal in mind what's this 10 of inspiration happiness okay the moon so we got the sun the knight of wands the page of wands and the six of cups somebody could be definitely feeling 
somebody could be kind of stressing over somebody finding out about something here or there is this energy too of somebody like wishing things could be like how they were at some point with this six of cups like there there could be a situation here where there's there is a heavy leo energy um coming up with that sun card um cancer pisces here there definitely could be some kind of competition in a connection here. What's the aid of inspiration? Or somebody feels like there's no comparing to you here. You are that the sunshine here in somebody's life, okay? You could have walked away from this person. Let me get something on the aid of inspiration. What do they need to know? The six of wands. Well, okay, so it's like the six of swords with the six of wands. It's like your success is coming or came after you ended some kind of connection or somebody cut off something here it could be that you've walked away from this person or somebody you're connected to has moved on moved away from being cut off uh, from or something here there's some kind of third party situation that could be ending over with or some kind of confusion is ending or you're walking away from the confusion ass person what's the fool what they need to know We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Swords. Well, something could be happening here that's like literally out of your control here. There could be a situation with um, some kind of investigation or some kind of uh, a legal situation here. Or somebody is just all up in their head about how they're even going to move forward here. Chinese Zodiac of the Doll, the Monkey, or the Snake could be significant. Let me get something on the Hang Muse, please. The Nine of Swords, yeah, with the Nine of Wands. Let me get something on the Three of Pentacles. Well, something, it's like something that was uh, held up is being removed or some kind of cycle you're walking away from this repeating cycle here the nine of cups okay you're getting focused on your goals here because there could have been a time when maybe you were um you know what it could be a situation where everything's going really good for you but you just get you get to overthinking about certain things uh and then there could be a situation where you're dealing with somebody who's like in kind of a player energy all right or you could have been in some kind of player energy in the past all right um somebody's just realizing that certain uh repeating cycles in their life were messing up their manifestations here with the magician and even like focusing too long staying stuck in the past too long or not moving on from certain things like you know taking too long to move on from certain things okay because of just you know, pain, hurt, whatever it is, right? Queen of Cups. Judgment. Yeah, you're making some kind of judgment call that you're moving on here. Okay, your confidence is coming back. And I'm, I'm saying coming back because I feel like that. I feel like it's coming back. I feel like that somebody, you had let somebody affect your self-confidence at some point. Because this person, whoever they were, like they meant, you know their opinion meant something to you but i don't know it's a strange energy but it's more like you're moving away from this player this could be somebody who's married okay and maybe you didn't know they were married or something like that but what i'm getting here is somebody's somebody's wanting peace with you too as well so this could be somebody who is married who is trying to create some kind of peace with you but um I don't know. Let's get some more tarot on that. The message is unclear. Let's get some more tarot. Do I want to get some from the... Okay. We got love slipping out. I'm not going to go too deep in the all-time wellness deck right now. Okay. Let's get some from the light seers deck. This is the tattoo tarot here. This is the light seers, seers deck. And then the other two from the beginning were a combination of um, Curious Creatures Tarot and what's the other one? Oh, the Muse Tarot by 
Chris Ann. This one's by Chris Ann, too. Okay. Let me get six cards on the future of this connection here that's showing up on the table. Let me get six cards, please. Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Somebody could be pregnant here. Um, or if you're, you know... If that's something that could be possible with you at this time, be careful about that. If it's not something that you feel like you can handle at this time, because definitely there could be a situation here or somebody's just dealing with a situation with um, kids, you know, responsibilities, things like that. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with here. Uh, or like I said, this could be something about a marriage. Now, somebody could be getting out of a marriage here, yeah, with this Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You could be making some kind of plans here. You could be afraid, okay, of going off on your own, but, you know, it, look, you got the Nine of Cups down here, too. This could be also about you starting a business here and just getting really serious about building up your coins here with this 10 of coins it's like spirit is working with you you could be a mother um father whatever the case may be there if you're new to tarot there's no gender in tarot so if there's a queen on the card like this for instance it says queen it could be male or female right most of the time it it is like it says on the card but a lot of times it's not so Keep that in mind. All right, so business, though. You're getting ready to birth something that don't have to be an actual child. That could be like a business idea. Yeah, this is something about your goals here for sure. The king of wands. There's even, at this point, something you're working on or something you're going to be working on. Like, there's going to be, it's going to be opening up a lot of opportunities and options here for you. For some of you guys, too, or for somebody here, this has got something to do with you really getting to yourself and focusing on your goals here. If you're single or you're, uh, you know, going through some kind of separation period or something, okay, there's this energy of the more that you focus on your goals and, you know, self-love and all this stuff, it's like there's other options coming in here. Now, this could be with work, um, opportunities coming in here. There's people here that are wanting to invest in you, whether that's love or for romance. Well, that's the same thing. Whether it's love and romance or for some kind of work purposes, right? I don't know. But there's people here wanting to connect with you, collaborate with you. Let's get some from the Animal Spirit deck. Watch and wait. The seahorse spirit, okay. The seahorse spirit in one of the decks is the ace of cups. So embrace the in-between. Spirit has a plan. There's something going on behind the scenes here that you don't even see yet. It's like there's good news coming in. Some kind of past situation is going to resolve itself in a way that you're not expecting. I feel like, oh, I didn't even see this one. Peacock spirit, let it shine. Okay. Now, this definitely, with this Let It Shine, with that King of Swords, uh, the Ten of Pentacles, I'm getting like you're really, there's going to be people as you start to express yourself in this business field, work field, whatever it is, there's going to be different people coming forward here that are wanting that going to want to take a chance on you, work with you, or whatever the case is. This could, uh, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, it says set healthy boundaries. Okay. So you're looking good, feeling good with this peacock spirit, um, with this king of wands energy, right? Empress energy, male or female. You're looking good, feeling good, and you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be trying to, uh, cross the line with you possibly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It could be even coworkers for some of y'all. What I need to know, act as if whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, manifest it from home spirit says. <laughs> Act as if. No, not necessarily. But for some of y'all, dream the world into being. You got some big things coming in for you. And a lot of them have to do with your stability, um, your some kind of business you're growing. You're going to be growing something really 
big here as far as your finances go. All right. And so what spirit is saying here is like there's going to be different energy. Um, they're going to come in and want to kind of, uh, you know, whatever they want to do. The point is that they're just kind of distractions along your way. So just be careful with that. Okay. Uh, how far are we in? 15 minutes. Let me see. Let's get one from the Coles deck. Inspired by me, created by Nicole Mason Oracle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what do they need to know? Whoops. Look, this one flipped over. Strength, fairness, compassion, and truth. We're going to keep that one. Okay. Because you did have the Ace of Swords, and it's kind of given that. What do they need to know? Peace and prosperity. That's what you got coming in. Peace and prosperity. Don't let nobody uh, invade your peace is what I'm getting. Time for healing, growth, and transformation. At the bottom of the deck. Oh, I already said that. Peace and prosperity. And then I'm seeing like this. This doesn't necessarily look like a, a dove up here. But then again, yeah, it does. Okay, yes, that's what you're going towards. Peace and prosperity. And you got it coming in. Watch out for these love options, right? Because the spirit was kind of... There's just different energies here that's got... Especially, okay, we got this Ace of Wands here with this Nine of Wands. So it's like in this King of Wands, Emperor Energy. It's like, okay, the more that you do shine here, the more opportunity options you have coming towards you in this love energy this uh passion energy this throw you off your course energy right so keep that in mind uh potent auspicious power and strength oneness with nature okay the dragon energy coming through this is the year of a dragon the dragon so chinese zodiac of the dragon could be significant or this year could be very significant for you what they need to know psychic reader okay you could be very psychic yourself you could pull your own cards for yourself or maybe you need to book a personal reading okay private message me or email me at lucaredtarot at yahoo.com to book okay intuition knowledge and clairvoyance ability to unmask deception to see clearly uh period with the um psychic reader at the bottom of the day somebody could be getting readings on you okay enlightenment somebody's trying to trying to get enlightenment on you right strength loyalty freedom and then time to receive i think that there could be somebody who's really just trying to get uh some kind of insight on you because they feel like you are maybe kind of closed off okay somebody is feeling this way so they could be trying to get readings on you, watch readings on you, because they're trying to uh, strategize here. So, you know, I don't know how you're going to look at that, <laughs> okay? They see you as some kind of prize here, right? Or this is like energy coming towards you where people are going to be trying to... Um, at least one person or maybe more than one person are going to be trying to pick up on your energy through readings because... They can't read you. <laughs> what do they need to know? Focus. Like I said, stay focused. All right. Enlightenment. Air spirit and knowledge. Yeah. I'm seeing somebody looking into some kind of crystal ball or something, trying to trying to get some kind of knowledge on you, but it's not working. Or some kind of scrying or something like that, right? Like I said, it could be readings. Okay, bluebird spirit, happiness and prosperity. Somebody could be trying to see what's coming up for you as far as your finances go, your love life goes. Good Lord. And maple spirit, generosity, and how generous are you going to be with them? You might not be generous at all. You might be breaking loose. <laughs> okay, with well, eagle spirit and freedom. Well, they need to know truth, okay, and trust love okay with this card here 
that's a good card to come out. I mean, it's a good card to even get at the bottom of the deck. It tells me that you could have, you could end up building this like legacy with somebody here, like a family tree with somebody. All right. You could be already working on this with somebody. That's not for everybody, of course. Um, if this is something you haven't experienced yet, then it's something that's coming for you in the future, okay? Earth spirit, stability. You see the two? Is that swans? Yeah. That's like a... But it is this energy of there's going to be, you know, a couple to a few people who are going to come across your path before you meet this person, right? Or unless you either you're already with this person or it's this energy of. Uh, OK, so either you're with somebody and you or this person is overcoming some kind of past ways that cause a lot of problems, turmoil in your lives, their life, whatever it is. OK, um, and things are changing it as far as that goes or you've dealt with. um different people in this certain energy and you're kind of getting to yourself and healing before you even um move on to any kind of new relationship dynamics you're kind of healing yourself first like getting happy with yourself first before you yeah working on your prosperity and all this so there's healing going on that is going to either lead to this or you know the the outcome of all this healing you're doing, working on yourself, your stability, right, is leading to this connection here, to a soul tribe energy or a somebody you're going to build a life with type energy. Or there's also this energy of if you are with somebody, then there's the energy of this person wanting to heal a situation with you or you two together, right? Either way, the ending result of all this healing is going to be you being in some kind of happy relationship, connection, whatever the case is. Whether it's your soul tribe and you're happy and, you know, or your family or you and some some lover who you end up marrying. Whatever it is, you're going to be happy and prosperous here. That's what I got for y'all. I love you. Thanks for watching.